This time I'm actually going to get it. Yeah, you know what that'll do. <sighs> Okay, welcome back to the channel. As you've probably seen from this title, this video is going to be basically me explaining and going over my interview experience with Imperial College London. I actually applied this year for 2021 entry for mechanical engineering at Imperial, obviously. I also applied to Cambridge, Bath, Southampton and Birmingham and I've since had all my decisions but I'm saving all of the decisions for a live reaction video that's coming out in a few weeks. So if you want to see that, make sure to drop us up. But the reason I'm making this video is leading up to my interview, I pretty religiously watched all all of these videos or this type of video so I thought you know what help me so hopefully it can help other people if I make my own one hence why we're here today but yeah briefly quickly first for those of you that are new to this channel or coming in now as opposed to any time in the past uh, I make loads of different videos mainly kind of motivational inspiring videos on things like academia fitness uni and literally anything else that kind of concerns this age group between kind of 15 and Probably like 21, I want to say. Yeah, even even like higher than that, basically. But yeah, I've got loads of videos. If you want to take, check out any other videos on this channel, there's loads of other videos. Nice. Okay, before we go over kind of the interview itself, I want to give you a bit of background on my application. So in my application, I had all nines at GCSE and predicted all A stars for maths, further maths, physics, and chemistry. Then I had my personal statement, which I'm just going to pop up there. And I wrote that entirely using this free course that I go over and kind of explain in that video. I also read out my personal statement there. I can't remember which side it is, but it's one of these sides. So if you want to go check that out, that's probably a good, good shout. But yeah, then about, in fact, I can actually check this. Yeah, so actually on the 13th of November at 3.17 p.m., I got an invitation to interview, interview at Imperial for Mechanical Engineering. This was sick, obviously, because it's an interview at pretty much my number one choice, or like one of my number one choices of uni. So this was gas. I was crazy excited, but I was also super nervous. Like, I genuinely didn't know what to expect. So as I said, I can't I've just binged all of these videos. There aren't actually that many out there, but I found them really helpful to give me kind of an expectation. I also found myself sitting over a student room, going through all of the threads, looking at other people that were invited to interview, how they found their experiences, all of that, and just kind of getting a vague idea of what the interview is going to be like. Now, I've also applied for Cambridge, and I've also had an interview there, and I'll have videos on that coming soon as well, but I thought it was going to be similar to the Oxbridge interviews, whereby you'd just be drilled on your maths and physics knowledge and maybe like a bit of personal statement for kind of taster to kind of settle you in the interview. Obviously my interview was on Zoom because we're obviously in a pandemic, we can't go visit them and it's a bit of a mare. But usually you'd have an applicant day and there's usually about 10 different interviewers interviewing candidates on the day. So I think it was the same for the Zoom where there were loads of different uh, interviewers interviewing you and the contents of the interview from what I'd heard varies hugely dependent on who's interviewing you. Like some will really drill you on your personal statements and will really drill you on your maths and physics knowledge and just give you questions. So I, I was actually really quite lucky in my opinion because I had a really strong personal statement and I hadn't prepared as much for the maths and physics side but I still think I would have been alright. So in the interview we sat down, came in, came onto the Zoom and it was so much more chilled than I could have ever imagined. It was genuinely just like a conversation between me and the interviewer about kind of just the stuff we'd done and what had led, led us to this point. There was just one interviewer and and he just went really in depth into my personal statement, kind of went over all of the different stuff that I'd done, asked me questions on it all. And we really just kind of had like a, an engineering based chat about all that I'd done, kind of like a passionate conversation about the subject. And I really liked that. Like it made you feel more at ease because you're just talking about things you've already done and you're not really getting drilled or kind of like forced answers out of you. It's just like a normal conversation. And I really enjoyed that. And so I feel like I was quite lucky in that sense. I don't know if anyone else, if you're watching this, have had an interview can let me know in the comments kind of what your thoughts were on your interview and whether it varied or not. But from what I have heard, it is quite dependent on who's interviewing you. But overall, my experience with Imperial was a really positive one. The person who interviewed me, I believe was a lecturer and he was really friendly, really supportive. And I really liked that. In fact, he'd actually done quite a lot of research beforehand and would watch loads of these videos, which is great. <laughs> so he kind of knew enough about me to start the conversation and kind of go over everything I'd done. Yeah, really positive experience overall. Okay, I've just realized that I've actually kind of failed to talk about more of the logistical side of it. So when I came, or when it came to the interview, I got sent an email about two weeks before and they said, are you free basically between this time and this time on this day? You'd reply, you'd confirm whether or not you were free 
free and then once they'd done that they'd send you an email containing the exact time and the link to join the meeting. Once you join the meeting they'd kind of introduce themselves, you'd say hello and then they'd go into all of the stuff that I've just said so kind of like going over your personal statement and all of that. Having read the email that they actually sent me they said that they would ask things about your personal statement, maybe some maths and physics and explore your ability to think like an engineer. Hence with that I felt I was quite lucky because it was just on my personal statement but then the interview itself lasted about 25-30 minutes. Mine was closer to 30 minutes because we kind of just kept talking and then at the end of about 25 minutes they'll ask you if you had any questions. Now I actually had a few questions, I had a couple of questions about accommodation and kind of the study abroad and placement that I'd already prepared beforehand so I felt that I was ready to tackle those questions and find out information that I actually needed to know but also show that I was actually interested in the university itself. Now also I don't think that I would have found or felt myself to be as lucky as I was if I hadn't prepared all of the answers and things I wanted to say and wanted to talk about with my personal statement. I don't think I would have felt as lucky if I hadn't actually revised my personal statement and everything that I'd done on it. So I'm actually going to have a video coming out soon on exactly how I prepared for these interviews so that I was able to speak fluently, coherently and just understand everything that I was talking about with respect to the things I'd done in my personal statement. So that will be coming out very soon. So make sure you subscribe to that. But anyway, let's carry on. I have since actually received a decision from the university itself, but I'm not going to be disclosing that yet because I am going to make an entire video on all of my live university reactions. So I filmed them all as I've opened the decisions and I'm going to make an entire video out of it. So if you want to see if I did get in or not, then probably drop a subscribe and make sure you stay tuned to watch that because I'm hoping all of the decisions will be in by about mid-January so I can post that video. Yeah, but yeah, I hope this video has kind of helped. I hope you to hair yeah, help you. I can speak, trust me, I can. <laughs> help you to kind Kind of gain a bit more clarity on what the interview is going to be expected of you and almost kind of calm your nerves a bit because it is it isn't the end of the world like if you've got an interview you're already past so many of the stages that you're in a pretty good position so just take it like just take it like a passionate conversation about your subject just enjoy it and then whatever comes of it comes of it like if you don't get in it probably wasn't meant to be so yeah this has been a bit of a shorter video but i hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to drop a like drop a subscribe and if you've got any other questions about the whole interview process and all of that then just let me know in the comments other than that see you in the next one i live inside my own world of make-believe